Good day. Good Hello, day. Valerie. How are you? Well, hi. Who do I have on the line? This is Jim and Elizabeth Carroll from Marriage Boot Camp. Well, thank you so very much. I heard you guys are going to talk with us about season two of uh, uh, the reality show, correct? Correct. All right, then. I want to let my listening audience know that my guests today are from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So hopefully you've made a connection with them with their successful show. If I could start with you, uh, Elizabeth, how's it going? It's going great. And I just want to um, let you know that the Marriage Boot Camp has been in the Dallas area for 20 years. And we're just now getting to TV. But it has been a long-running marriage help seminar for many, many years. I like that. Do you guys uh, have open forums or do you do it at certain kinds of location in Dallas? I just wanted to get a little feel for that. Well, we conduct a boot camp about uh, 10 times a year in Dallas. And we, it's for four days. Normally it's in uh, Frisco at the NBC seats or over in Plano. And just anybody that wants to come to the boot camp can sign up and come on in. Yeah, just go to our, bo- our uh, website at marriagebootcamp.com, register for an event, and y'all can come and work on your marriage just like the celebrities do. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, not just like the well, celebrities not the, do. It's not the same. But <laughs> We're not going to put you in a reality house and, and kill you and put you in coffins and make you jump off buildings and no. anything like that. No. Okay, because you know they'd be lining up for that. You would not have any problem with that. But tell me, uh, Jim, about season two. Tell me what's different. What's new? Well, what I like about season two is the, the reality stars are a little more down to earth. They got down-to-earth problems that all of us have and not that big, gigantic stuff that we had when we had the Bridezillas on the show or and Gene Simmons. And so this is really a person coming in to watch this is going to learn how to fix their own problems. Right. And the, and the interest and the excitement comes from the real stuff that they struggle with, not by blowing somebody up. How do you guys do the marriage boot camp and maintain your own marriage, or do you use it as a, 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 a lab? We're just totally falling <laughs> apart in our own marriage. I'm no. telling you, it's, it's the, horrible, I tell you. The truth is <laughs> our, our marriage is the laboratory for a lot of what we do in marriage boot camp. In fact, we have a couple of drills. We have a drill called hot buttons that came directly from conflict that we have. And right now, we're working through a, um, a, a way to do some sort of personality assessment because Jim and I are so very different and not only do we have the fight but then we go oh how can we use this and help others with it but isn't different a key ingredient my husband and I we're like from different planets okay (laughs) and we've been married 30 years so here's the difference differences can be complementary or they can be conflict creating and depending, you know, the big issue for Jim and I is that I tend to be more introverted. He tends to be more extroverted. We navigate differently in life. And until we can say, oh, you do things this way, I do things this way, and it's okay either way, we're not going to come to peace. So that's the challenge. The challenge? Okay. So you do these things for marriage enhancement or keeping people together or helping them be, be, to be better partners. Yes. Does it go deeper than that? Does it go to a spiritual level or is it just on that surface level? Well, you know, being from Texas and Dallas, Bible Belt, all that kind of stuff, we're Christians. And, and a lot of our boot camp is based upon uh, Christian principles. Th- principles and everything. Mm-hmm. So um, attitudes, the love, the forgiveness, uh, hope, self-esteem, value, worth, all, all the same giving. Sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, so all those are in, in the boot camp, but we put them in games and drills and exercises instead of just going and you know, preaching it to somebody, which would get rather boring. Well, our government is made on Christian values, so I can see how that can work. You know, those values are in God we trust on our money. They're in our government, everything. So I can see that working for you guys. Let me... Go ahead. I'm sorry, Jim. What what we what we don't do in in our boot camp is like preach stuff to people and and try to cram it down anybody's throat because nobody wants that. You're coming to work on your marriage, yeah. okay? And and um, so by letting it be there in the background, if somebody needs it, wants it, fine, it's good. But we don't. We just don't believe in beating people up with a Bible. We do, however address every single relationship in their life, whether it's relationships with their families, parents, etc., with their mate, with their children, and with God, if they want a relationship horizontally. That's so, that's so wonderful you say that. Jim, as I wrap up, if there's someone who's listening to the show and they're sitting at home saying they got a, a sucky marriage, what is one piece of inspiration you could give them? That I've seen that 
up to hundreds of times, thousands of times, thousands. where people just go, God, it's, there's nothing, nothing we can do. We're yeah. so different. We can't get along. Yes, you can. Sign up for the boot camp. Yeah. Come. It's, 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 I mean, it's like... 60% of the people that walk in the door of our marriage boot camp seminar are on the verge of divorce or have already filed. So they're on their last leg, most of them, and they walk out of there happy and in love or very clear that they well, should be together. Well, I'm out of time. I'm out of time, guys. Can you tell me where you want to send my listening audience on social media or the web? Sure. We TV, January 9th at 9 o'clock Central Time. I'm excited to talk with you guys and see see what you're doing on TV. Somebody's got to save America, and maybe you guys will be it. I want to thank you, Jim and Elizabeth, okay. thank for you, being Valder. on the Valder BB Show. I look forward to what you're doing, and I'll look forward to you coming back. Happy New Year. Same to you. You too.